Now, this actually was a call of a PFA violation state police were investigating. We're told that Edward Gorinsky's parents in Hemfield Township called state police because he had just gotten out of jail, and state police say he broke into an acquaintance's house in South Greensburg and made at least two phone calls to his parents. That was a PFA violation, so the parents called state police, and state police say they tracked Gorinsky down to the acquaintance's home in South Greensburg. Now, this is a look at him. He is 28 years old, and investigators again tell us he was just released from the Westmoreland County Prison yesterday where he was serving time for a previous PFA violation. This is the weapon state police say he used when after troopers had chased him on foot, he stopped a vehicle that had a 39 year old woman in it. Investigators say he held this 22 caliber assault style weapon at the woman's head as he tried to get her out of the vehicle so he could then get into her car. And that is when state police investigators tell us the trooper who is a four year veteran of the force fired his weapon several times, hitting Gorinsky once, killing him. Now, this all took place last evening on the 1400 block of Broad Street in South Greensburg. State police tell us that the trooper involved felt he had no choice but to fire his weapon so he could save the life of the innocent bystander. He's, he's, he's standing a, a couple feet away from her vehicle with an open door, taking aim at her, giving her verbal commands. Our trooper is about 20 yards away, uh, it, just coming from a foot pursuit about 20 yards away, taking aim at Mr. Gorinsky and giving him verbal commands. And after a couple verbal commands that the trooper gave, he made a split second decision that this woman's life is in jeopardy with this individual standing there with an, what it appears to be an assault rifle pointed at her and our trooper discharges firearm to try and protect and save her life. Now, one thing Trooper Lamani also added is that obviously it is never the goal of the state police to use deadly force in any situation. That is not what they set out to do. And he said their thoughts are also with the family of Gorinsky. The trooper who was involved will be placed on a paid leave so he can seek counseling if need be. After he is ready to come back to work, they said he will be allowed to do so. Of course, we'll have much more on this investigation for you in our later newscast. For now, that's the very latest live at the state police barracks in Greensburg. Ashley Hardway, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Thank you.